Okay. <clears throat> I'm fine. Okay. It's under control. I'm gonna laugh <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. It's under control. So this is Lila. Hello. <laughs> hey, you want to know what's 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 cool about um, like ancient history? Oh. Oh yeah. <gasps> A lot of the time, people would they they they'd find something and they're like, you know what? This thing is it's really pretty, and I want to put it. Um, in all the things that I use up. and eat. And that up thing is poison. Every, you, dude. Or like cocaine or some or like shit. Cocaine like they put cocaine. Or meth. They're like, yeah, they're like, oh, you got a little coffee cough? Here's some cocaine. So, okay, basically what I'm getting at is that back in the day, people would use a lot of different, different poisons for like stuff like paint. Like uh, back in the mm -hmm. fourth century, there was uh, a bunch of guys... In ancient Greece, um, started using lead for to paint stuff because apparently, if you um, like, if you prepare lead correctly, then it has it's just like this really brilliant um, white color and it's super bright or whatever. And the cool thing is that to prepare this lead um, this lead paint, you would mix it with your hands, um, according oh, to Pliny, <laughs> according to Pliny the Elder. You would just like put your hands in this vat of lead. And, and stir it up, and bam, you got yeah. yourself some, some white paint. <laughs> has no damage on your body at all. Couldn't Abs possibly happen. Absolutely not. It has nothing to do with lead and everything to do with... with uh, gumption. I'm Sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you just didn't... You just, you just aren't built different like the rest of us, <laughs> you know? Dude, that makes me think of... I, obviously, everyone knows about the Radium Girls, but, like, that makes me think of that, how they would just lick that shit without even, like... Without a second thought, they would like yeah. lick their paintbrush. I was... Like that. Where? Where's the? Where's the common sense? Um, the radio <laughs> girls, the people who were hiring them, the people that ran the factories, they knew that the paint was radioactive. No! They knew I it was. Know! And they were men. And <laughs> I don't mean that. I don't mean that. But like sometimes I'm ready to start it. Like they, like they were well aware, and they were like. It's just under control. Oh, your jaw is falling off? Not, not. <laughs> no, related. it's it's unrelated. Trust me. Also, um, yeah, coal miners and stuff. They would use um, their 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 lamps. They like would li light them with matches, right? Yeah. And these days, most matches use red phosphorus. But back in the day, the coal miners would use white phosphorus, which oh. is poisonous, and it would oh, cause sure. it would cause like their jaws and stuff to fall off. The reason that they used the white phosphorus, the, the match companies anyway, is because it was like two cents cheaper to make a white oh phosphorus God. than it was to make a, a match out of red phosphorus. Why they gotta be cheap like that? Like they could have spent two more cents instead of all the lawsuits they probably got, dude. But the lead paint though, let's get back to the lead paint. Um, oh shit, yeah. So they would use this paint to paint the walls inside of their houses. So they were breathing uh. it on a on a day to day basis, and, uh, lead poisoning. It's it's bad for your nervous system. It stunts yep. growth. It uh, causes Absolutely. kidney damage, and um, cancers. Yeah, and cancers and stuff. Um, also, they would use it to paint children toys. Right? Ha! Huh? Gets it, you on that shit. And it gets even better because lead oh. is sweet. It tastes oh, good. Ew. Well, now I want to try it. No. <laughs> Why did you tell me that? Well, I don't try it, but like, what if? You know what I mean? Does it describe the kind of sweetness? Like, like a, you know what I mean? Like a I don't citrus know. sweetness or what like I, a sugary? What I imagine is like, you know, those coated Advil pills that like they, they sweeten for some reason? Whenever, I think so. Whenever, I, I imagine that kind of sweetness because like that kind of thing just seems really irresponsible to me because it's like, dude, what yeah. if a kid finds a bottle of Advil pills and is just like, oh, wow, these taste sweet. And then they just eat the whole bottle. Yeah, and then That's your a kid dead kid OD'd on that. Yeah. 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 And then did you see the shit about how the no the child protectant lock caps like actually don't work and if they just keep spinning it, it comes off anyway? It, I I'd imagine it would have to be a fairly determined kid or a fairly bored kid. Yeah. But like But here's the thing about kids. My my days in the daycare working, you know, for two months, um, <laughs> was they they are very persistent on stuff. I had this one kid and I would always be like, hey, take that paper towel out of your mouth. And he wouldn't. He'd just keep go getting a new one. So I guarantee a kid like that would keep twisting. Um, 
I oh, we're talking about poisonous shit in our in stuff in uh-huh. things. Yeah, we are. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this this started in the uh, fourth century BC, so like four hundred years before the birth of Christ, as it were, right? Um, yeah, I believe so. And that was a hot minute ago. And yeah. people continued painting with this. They didn't even know that lead was dangerous until 1786 AD. So it took 2,000 years for them to realize that lead was dangerous. In 1886, the first law was made um, restricting the use of it. The law wasn't even stop using lead for your paint. It was don't let the women and children into the factories where you make it. What was another thing that they did? It was everyone knows Coca-Cola used to have cocaine in it. Yeah. Um, and and he Maybe. actually originally he originally sold it not as a soft drink but as like a like a, a cure all ailment type thing like oh you yeah. got a cold also drink this um, you got a broken leg drink this what was it it was um frosted flakes without the the sugar on them what are the what are those corn flakes corn like flakes the... yeah corn flakes used to be <laughs> a cure all medicine what corn flakes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what were cornflakes gonna do? What were cornflakes gonna do? And you were and you were right. It wasn't until like fifty years ago that um that lead paint was banned in America. It was banned in nineteen seventy eight. Yeah, I was gonna say it had to have been the mid seventies, late seventies. Even though the paint was banned, that just mean that just meant that you couldn't buy new paint, right? They didn't they didn't get rid of like stuff that was already painted. So if you um if your house was um. You, painted like, pre nineteen seventy eight. Then it's prob and it's painted white. Then it was probably painted with lead paint. Well, you see, it probably would have been anyway because the white would have been a good base for them to mix colors into it, regardless. So yeah, you know, lead paint's a bitch, man. <laughs> Go on. What else have we got for poisons? Uh, we also have emerald green arsenic. Um, Ooh, arsenic. In, um, so in eighteen fourteen, the Wilhelm Dye and White Lead Company um, in Germany discovered a new green dye uh, that was more prominent and bold than anything else in the market, which they called mm. Emerald Green, and it was made out of arsenic. Um, Beautiful. So um, the, the the sad thing is that this this uh, new newfangled green arsenic dye yeah. sounds like freaking hotcakes, dude. Everyone wanted oh, it. Oh, beans. And, and everyone, they started using it in dyes. They used it in, um, women used it in their gowns and dresses. People used it in their yeah. wallpapers, in their carpets. Uh, they just, you know, they put it in anything and everything. Europe, in like the mid-1800s, was known to be um, bathed in green. And mm-hmm. also, the, the, the effects of arsenic are just lovely. They cause scars and scores that develop uh, wherever the poison came in contact with the skin. It caused people's mm-hmm. hair to fall out. Um, it caused yep. them to vomit blood. It, it caused damage to your livers and kidneys. Um, and it also caused brain damage. The, the, mm. the term uh, mad as a hatter comes from the fact that people who wore hats, that wore like the green arsenic hats, usually went insane. Oh, wait, I didn't know that. Okay, no, I'm not going to have to research that. Oh, <laughs> shit, wait, that's so cool. I mean, that that, that sucks that they kind of went crazy, but that's so cool. Also, you know the Cheshire Cat? Um, yes, I do. That comes from, like, a an expression, um, happy as a Cheshire Cat. The, the reason that's an expression is because Cheshire uh, produces a lot of milk and fish, which means, you know, cats, cats are real happy there. Oh, that's so cool. I like how you just, I like how you know this. This is so fun. Anyway, continue. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, there were some people who uh, visited Buckingham Palace, right? And there were some, you know, some some real important fellas. Um, And Queen Victoria had Mm -hmm. all of her her guest rooms were made, um, had green wallpaper. in. All of the, the, uh, the, the fellas that showed up. They got super sick from staying in the guest room. And but I, what I like to imagine is that like the wallpaper wasn't actually made out of arsenic. It was just a different green wallpaper. And the guy just really didn't like it. He just um, really didn't like that shade of green. Yeah. And then and then historians took that super out of context. And it was like, oh, even Queen Victoria was poisoning people on accident. I don't That's like, like it. It's like it's like pale orange food. Right? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, okay, you it, you hate pale orange food. This man I cannot hates like lime green wallpaper. Um, so a lot of this you can kind of like you can kind of give them to the benefit of the doubt to to an extent because you know a lot of it was a long time ago and people are still stupid. But oh, this, for sure. this next thing happened in the the 1930s, so you know fairly recent. Um, and this this man uh, Homer Laughlin. He's the owner of a dinnerware company called Fiesta Ware. And this man, he found this really beautiful, like, red-orange color that he decided that he wanted to use inside of his plates and the other, other um, dinnerware. The cool yeah. thing is that this red-orange color came from depleted uranium, which meant that the plates, oh. the plates were radioactive and people were eating off ah. of them. Oh, beans. <laughs> I know, Back right? Again, with the radioactivity. Why we got to be like that? I seriously like to give people so much credit for being intelligent back in the day, but because everyone thinks they're dumb. But I think it's more of like a logistical intelligence. And then when it comes to common sense, it just wasn't there. <laughs> um, they're still stupid. At least the plates were pretty, you know? Um, it wasn't until 1943 when uranium was banned from being used for all public products that they decided to stop using it. But, yeah, and it, yeah, and the they wasn't banned because the government realized, hey, maybe people shouldn't be making dinnerware out of dangerous chemicals. No, it was banned because they needed their uranium for nuclear yeah, explosives. For nuclear, yep. <laughs> Continue. I'm just gonna have a meltdown. And then in um, 1959, when the government didn't need to make any more nukes, they they um, let public uh, products start using uranium again, and Fiesta Ware mm. just went right back to using the plates. You would like, think if they were like, hey, we need this for nu- nuclear uh, just things, they would be like, hey, if they use this for nuclear weapons and such. If they use such, this to blow up Hiroshima, maybe we should it make sense maybe to we put should, it on a plate. Um, use it for, for people's salad bowls. If it's used as an explosive, maybe it shouldn't be in your salad bowl. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it shouldn't be on your fine fucking China, dude. <laughs> Absolutely not. And it wasn't until 1972 that they actually stopped, that they, like, actually stopped using it. Um, Jesus Christ. This has been fun. <laughs> Tell everyone. Keep here. Keep this and come hang out at my channel. Is it anything educational? No. Except, wait, I'm going to post a video of, like, two months ago when I took my sink apart. Um, <laughs> and so, maybe that's educational. You know what I mean? Um, it's so called... It's, I got... It's Loverboy Lila, <laughs> the channel name. <sighs> Oh, I forgot I changed it to that. Yeah, for sure. Come stick around. Anyway, okay, I'm going to hang up on you. Otherwise, I'm literally not going to shut up, okay? So, goodbye, Mafia Boy number two. Goodbye, lover boy. Ha- <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, actually, okay. I'm actually... No, wait. I'm going to actually hang up. Okay. 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 Three, now- two, one. <laughs>